Welcome back, guys, to the show. I'm your host, Colin Sofio. We are coming live from Tridays Restaurant. Of course, this is Sport and TV, the best local channel matters, sports and entertainment. Remember to view, like, subscribe, and leave your comment under the comments section down below. And on set today, we have Coach Maish. Thank you. Coach Maish, welcome to the show. Thank you, Wana Collins. Uh, today, we are going to zero in on uh, the group stages, which, which teams are going to, to make it out of the group stages, which team are going to qualify and which teams are not going to qualify. Coach, Group A consists of Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal and Qatar. Who do you think that uh, is most likely to make it out, out of this group considering that after two uh, round of matches, Netherlands has four points, Ecuador has four points, Senegal has three, Qatar has none. So I do believe uh, that uh Senegal and uh, Netherlands will come out shining because their last game is against Qatar, who have not won. But then, maybe Qatar might want to prove a point and win this game. So it's up to the Netherlands to top up the group. And then I'll give it uh, whomever wins between between uh, Ecuador and Senegal. Ecuador and Senegal will be the one who will take the day. Does Senegal have a chance? Senegal has a chance, show, show, uh, given that uh, they have shown it, and uh, they are attacking team, they've got a very, uh, 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 very big talent uh, in, their, in their bosom, so I think uh, they are good. And uh, given that they are the best ranked African team, so I think uh, they have shown it, they have shown their might, so I think they are going to perform. Well, 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 uh, Coach Maish is rooting for Senegal to make it, but it's not going to be an easy match considering that uh, the one that, that win, wins that match, it's a crunch match by the way, yes. the one that, that, that carries the day uh, between uh, Senegal and, and Ecuador will make it. Do you, what, what, what do you make of that? Yeah, a, a, anyone who comes out, uh, out of that game and, and, and kept is the one who's going to win that game. So I think uh, it will be a very crunch match like you say, and it is going to bring all kinds of praising. Now, I think we should expect one of the best games that we've uh, seen in the World Cup. Yeah. Well, 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 Maïs is rooting for Netherlands and Senegal to make it out of group A. Group B, coach. Yes. We have England, Iran, USA, and Wales. In England are currently at the top of the group. Yes. Um, and we have Wales at, at, at the foot of the, of the table. Yes. <laughs> what do you make of, of England? Do you think that USA can somehow sneak in and make it? No, I do believe England, unless uh, Wales want to spoil the party, because uh, they, are, they are neighbors, and they would uh, not like the glory to go to, to England. Now, on that occasion, I think they can beat England. But then given by what England is playing, they've got a lot of talent in their, in their bosom, so I think they are going to come out gun blazing. Because in the last game we, show, we saw that uh, they didn't play well. They were, uh, they, uh, it, it was a very dull game, a draw, a game that uh, didn't have the punch, and you couldn't feel that uh, this is the England that uh, beat, uh, beat uh, they beat Costa. England on their first match, they beat uh, Iran. Iran. It was uh, yeah. six, six two. Two. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't feel that uh, it was the, the same team that uh, beat uh, Iran uh, because there were no, no goals. Coach, in a yes. match, mm -hmm. uh, who do you think that will make it out of, of this group consisting of England, Iran, USA, and Wales? Now, I think England has, a, ha, ha, has an edge. Uh, they, will, uh, they might top the, 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 the table, given that uh, Wales have to beat England by four goals. So that is a Herculean task. So that uh, Wales can, cross, cross, can, can dismantle the, the chances of England uh, going, going through. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, and the US, it has an edge because Iran, Iran it has shown that uh, it can play well because uh, they beat Wales, but then uh, it was, I think, uh, in the last 
dying minutes of the game. So I think uh, they, they have not shown their real might, but then they are a good team, given that they are Arabic, and uh, the 12 men will be uh, on their side. Yes. Well said, well said, coach. Uh, 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 just in a, I just give you a few seconds to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to say something on this, uh, on England. Mm -hmm. Hurricane so far, no goal, no assist. Uh, what what do you think that can be the the, the main cause of Hurricane not transforming the form that he had in EPL and 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 also bring, bringing the same thing in, in this World Cup? No, I do believe uh, that uh, every game is played according to the coach co coach plan. So I think the coach always decide how we should play, and uh, if at all. Uh, one is not performing, then we shouldn't uh, uh, show that uh, he's not uh, up to the level because there are also e other emerging talents and you can see, the, like Saka, you can see now more than ever he has scored good goals and uh, going forward you can, you can see they don't rely on one, one man, so that is teamwork. Everyone is important in that team. What about Wales? What has, uh, has befallen this Wales team, considering that they have a good caliber of players, the likes of, of Gareth Bale, yes. the likes of Robertson of, of Liverpool, mm -hmm. the likes of, of Danny James, the former Manchester United player. Yes. Uh, uh, Bale and, and, the, and, and the whole uh, Wales team has not come into this party. What, what do you make of, of, of this Wales team? No, I think uh, they have placed their burden upon one man, that's Wales. And uh, I think uh, the other players haven't stepped up to show that uh, they, are, they, 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 they can, they, they can uh, fill the void that uh, Bale is leaving. Because if Bale is not uh, on form, then I think the, the whole team is crumbles. So every time we, we really look at a team, we should always look uh, at a team which uh, will always step up in order to bring the best out of our team. Yes. Well, 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 guys. The show is getting interesting. Remember, we are coming live from Tidy's restaurant. And of course, this is Sporting TV, the best leading channel in sports and matters entertainment. We move on swiftly, coach, to Group C, which consists of Argentina, Poland, Saudi Arabia, and Mexico. Currently, Poland leads the group and followed by Argentina. What do you make of, of this group? That is Group C. Now Argentina is yet to play Poland, and uh, I think the the match that Argentina is going to play against Poland, yes. that, that will be the decider. That, that one will determine who goes. Yeah, and yeah. who will. And uh, it, it, it's so sad because now the two teams, one has to give away to the other because if Argentina wins and uh, uh, Poland uh, loses. Then there is uh, the other team. We have Saudi Arabia, which has three points. Uh, mathematically, they still have a chance to qualify. Mathematically, yes. yes ma Saudi Arabia, if it beats Mexico, yeah, it, uh, it, it can make it. It can make it. Yeah. So it's a matter of uh, of uh, wait and see. Now I think, uh, 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 as I told you earlier, these are matches that uh, will be decided by the last whistle. Coach Maish has it that uh, this group is going to be Argentina and Poland, yet still it's a, a very open group mm. and it's a matter of wait and yes. see. Yes. We move on to group B, which has France, the 2018 World Cup winners, the current holders, France, we have Australia, we have Denmark and we have Tunisia. Coach, your take on, on this group? Now already, already France proved uh, to be one of the best on-form team by being the first to qualify for, for the knockouts, the 16 round knockouts. And uh, you can see that uh, they've got an uh, alley of talents in Mbappe uh, uh, and the rest and the, uh, 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 and the team. They've got good players going forward. So I think uh, uh, now it's up to the second place. Now we have Australia, we have uh, we have Australia, we have Denmark, we Denmark, have Tunisia. We have Tunisia. Yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> Coach, bite the bullet. Yes. It's a do or die match. Yes. 
what do you think that 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 will 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 follow France to the next round? France is playing Tunisia on the last game. Yeah. If I, uh, I'm not wrong. Yeah, they are facing so Tunisia. I think uh, Tunisia has a, a, a Herculean task. So I think uh, I, w I wouldn't go for Tunisia. Now I'll go for which other team? Belgium? Aus no, not, not Belgium. We have Australia uh -huh. on, on three points. And? And we also have Denmark on one point and Tunisia on, on one point also. No, I think uh, Australia will come out. Uh, Australia is yeah, your pick? Yeah, yeah. So Coach Maish is going for French and also going for Australia. Australia, the yes. kangaroos. The kangaroos. Wow. The so socaroos. The socaroos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Coach, thank you. Thank you for your corrections. Yes. Thank you for your corrections. We move on to Group E. We have uh, Spain, we have Japan, we have Costa Rica, and we have Germany. Uh, 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 the match, uh, briefly, Coach, the match that uh, Spain and, and, and Germany, Germany played, what do you make of that? No, I think it was one of the, it was a final before a final, although they were, the, uh, Spain came out uh, gun blazing, they were very good at every side, when it was attack, when it was defense, in every, in, a, in every section, they were very good. Now, if that shows the intent of Spain. I think, to me, Spain is one of the favorite team to win this cup. Yeah, true, true, coach. I mm -hmm. think that uh, I mentioned it uh, on, on our last show. Yes. Uh, I think that Spain has, uh, is the most organized team that we have currently. Yes. But um, the Germans, they have only a point. Uh, do you think that uh, Hans Flick, the, the German coach, has, has something to prove going forward to, 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 to the next match? Their last game will be with the Germans will face Costa Rica in the last match. Costa Rica now. Yeah, think, Costa Rica. I think uh, this is... Guys, this is Sport and TV. I'm your host, Colin Sopio. And on set today, I have Coach Maish. Remember, we are coming live from Tridis Restaurant Nakuru. Remember to view, like, subscribe, share, and comment on the comment section area. Coach, we move on swiftly to Group F. Group F consists of Croatia, Morocco, Belgium, and Canada. Uh, uh, Croatia currently leads, leads the group with four points, Morocco four, and Belgium three. Canada has already been eliminated. Yes. Uh, what do you think that will make it out of this group, Coach? Well, I do believe uh, Belgium has a... Uh, has a chance, given that uh, Canada is out of the group. But then Canada would like even to give a statement that uh, they are hosting the next game and they won't go on a plane without a win. So I think they will even give Belgium a run for their money. So coach, yes. which, which group, uh, which, which team to make it out of group F? Uh, Croatia is currently at four points, Morocco at four. So the winner of uh, Croatia and Morocco is making it, and then Belgium is making it, Belgium. according to me. Belgium. The, the winner of Croatia and Morocco. Okay. Uh, the one that will win that group will make it. Romelu Lukaku, at, uh, at any given point, do you think that he will have a chance to take part in, in the coming match? Yeah. Considering that the attack, uh, the, the Belgian attack is very blunt. Uh, yes. uh, they've only scored a single goal. Now I'd like to see Lukaku any time. Because uh, given the caliber that he has, even the, his scoring and uh, expertise is top notch. So I think I would like to see uh, Lukaku in, the, in this last group stage. Group Kevin, game. Kevin De Bruyne, do you think that now Kevin De Bruyne should, should really now come up and, and, and show the, the world what he's really made of? Because uh, of late he has been quiet. Do you think now, now this is the main uh, may, the game that should really now remind us of, of, of Kevin De Bruyne? Yeah, I think uh, that's the undoing. And as I told you earlier, that uh, it's always hard to place uh, responsibility on one man because this teamwork. And if that one man is down, then I don't think, if you don't step up, then I think you have a problem. That your team will go down also with you. Do you expect uh, the Belgian tactician to ring in some changes, maybe um, 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 give, uh, give, uh, bring new faces now that uh, the first two matches has not really uh, gone well for, for Belgium? 
No, I think he, he, he should shuffle. Now, like, uh, like uh, Lukaku has not been playing, now he should bring him and see what kind of, uh, in, uh, of uh, uh, impact he will bring on the team. Now, I think De Bruyne, any day, you, you would him to meet him. Although, it's not the De Bruyne we know playing for Manchester City. It is being said that uh, the golden generation of, of, of Benjamin is, is over. And coach, can you support the same? Yeah, I do believe uh, that uh, given the age of Hazard and, uh, and uh, Lukaku and uh, the rest, I think uh, they, are, they are going being faced out because now we have De Bruyne. He's the only one that is showing, is showing uh, at least uh, a, a little bit of uh, uh, good football, and uh, otherwise, that, that that whole uh, whole group is uh, fading away. It's a galaxy galaxy of stars, coach, as some some may say. Yes. Uh, coach, now let's move to Group G. Uh, group G consists of of the Samba boys. Oh. Uh, that is uh, Brazil, Switzerland, Cameroon, and Serbia. Uh, uh, Brazil won their match yesterday. Yes. It was a beauty. What a beauty from Casemiro. It was a a, a goal that I think is one of uh, the uh, one of the goals that will be contenders for for for, for goal, goal goal of the goal of, goal the, of the tournament. Of the tournament. No, what I do you make of what do you make of this Brazilian team in the, general? The Brazilian team, I do believe, they have come out and knowing that any win will do them good. So they are they are approaching each each game with a very good vitality and you can see that Switzerland Switzerland uh, uh, at the back of the net mm. but it was ruled I think it was offside. infringement or yeah, was it an offside? It was an offside. Wow wow mm. wow. So we still have Cameroon in this side uh, in, in this group. Coach in in in, uh, in, in seconds uh, who do you think that will make it all out of this group group G because Cameroon or uh, Brazil is already at six points. Yes. Yeah. Now I do believe Cameroon is having a bad day because meeting the mighty Brazilian is uh, it's a Herculean task. It's a task that. Uh, so it's Brazil and uh, the other one is. The other one is Serbia. Serbia and, and and Switzerland. And Switzerland. Yeah. So between the one that wins between Switzerland and Serbia are the ones that are going to proceed. So I've got Brazil and the two. Brazil. Between Serbia and Switzerland. Anyone that wins that game is the one that is going to proceed. No, I don't, I don't give it for Cameroon. I'm sorry to say so. <laughs> well said, well said, Coach Maish. Coach they, would have, they would have won yesterday. If they would have won yesterday, they would have a chance. Now that they did it win, it's very hard. Well said, coach. We move on to Group H. Uh, group H consists of Portugal, uh, South Korea, Uruguay, and Ghana. Coach, it's it's an it's it's an open it's not an open it's an open secret. Yes. Um, the the type of players that uh, Portugal has, the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, the goat, if I may use the word. What do you make of this group and 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 Portugal in general? Considering that Ronaldo was coming in this tournament under a lot of pressure and a lot of criticism, mm -hmm. uh, considering what has been happening in Manchester United, he has not been playing a lot. Yes. He has not been scoring goals as we are used to. Because mm -hmm. Ronaldo is a goal machine. Yes. Uh, it's, it, it's an open, it's on record. Yes. Yeah, every, everyone knows it. What do you make of this group? Well, uh, now that uh, Ronaldo is not playing to his level, now I think uh, it is not undoing for the Portugal because now there are people who are stepping up, like uh, the likes of Bruno Fernandes. Yes, they have stepped up and yeah. they have shown it, and now you know that uh, uh, Portugal is not just a team that just came to World Cup. They come, they came to a World Cup with an intent. So I think they are stepping up, given that uh, Ronaldo has a lot of issues and uh, I think uh, it's what we call ego in our in our in very good English yeah he is egocentric so eventually you see with the age uh, it's coming up with, uh, with him and uh, he has no 
uh, his time is, uh, it's like his time is gone now. <laughs> now it's not the Cristiano Ronaldo we knew. We knew. Yeah. But he's doing a lot of uh, talking out of the pitch, more than the pitch. So it's very dangerous for a player to engage in, in press statements and conferences, and yet he has a, 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 a tournament to play. Uh, we still have Ghana. Yes. Ghana has three points. Uruguay is on one. Korea is on one. Is it a, an added advantage that now Ghana won yesterday? Uh, do you think that this will catapult Ghana to, 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 to the next level? Yes. If they get, they get a draw from uh, Uruguay, Ghana are going to go. Uh, given, uh, given the fact that uh, who are playing uh, Portugal, Portugal is playing against South Korea. South that is Korea. the last match for, for, for Portugal. No, I don't think uh, Portugal will let that go because they want to prove a point. So between between the two, if Ghana get a draw yeah. or win, yeah. then they, they are good to go. Well, well done. Unless they shoot themselves in the foot. Well said, Coach Maish. Yes. Remember, we are coming live from Chinese restaurant. The best restaurant in Nakuru, if not Kenya, for the best food, for the best drinks, for the best music, for the best accommodation, do make a point of visiting Tidy's restaurants and suits. Coach, uh, before we leave, uh, Neymar. Yes. Uh, Neymar got injured. Do yes. you think that uh, that it, it has an impact on, on, on Brazil, considering that Neymar is the, is the, is the attention uh, on, 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 on the Brazilian team? Uh, uh, Neymar normally does wonders, things that uh, normal footballers can do. Do you think that Brazil will really feel the, the, the pinch that Neymar will, will not be available in the next coming matches? No, I do believe Neymar is one of the best players we have in that tournament. But it is uh, sad that uh, we are not seeing him playing because even last time I think he went out injured and he didn't play all of the games. Now I think it's very unfortunate uh, to, uh, because we would have been treated to good goals, good, uh, good moves and what have you. But then we've seen that uh, the likes. Every, ta every time a player, a, a, a player is down, then there are those who are stepping up. Yeah. Now we, we saw Richardson uh, stepping up, Richardson, Casimiro, Casimiro stepping up, Marquinhos. Marquinhos, and you can see the, the most beautiful goals have been scored by coincidentally by the Brazilians. <laughs> so we've got that Richardson, yeah. and then we got this Casimiro goal. Yeah. You know, those are one that will, uh, will, uh, will, 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 will uh, what will we say? They will go down to one of, being one of the best goals in this tournament. Wow, wow, wow. Remember, you can only get this on Sport and TV for the best analysis on this World Cup Qatar 2022. Keep on viewing, keep on subscribing, keep on sharing, and keep on commenting. As for us and my crew, it's bye-bye for now. Maish. Thank you. It's always to have you, to have me in your show. You are always welcome, Coach Maish, anytime, any day. It was good having you on set. Thank you. And what an analysis. Yeah, thank you. Guys, that's it for, for us today. See you next time. Remember, this is Sport and TV. We are coming live from you. We are coming live from Tidy's restaurant. Keep, out, keep it Sport and TV.